Hello guys, this is Ali Solanki and today we'll be talking about the top 10 high paying jobs in 2022. I'll be listing each one of them along with their salaries, the average salaries both in India as well as in US. Remember, almost all of these jobs can be pursued by yourself without any degree. The second job is something that I'm pursuing as a freelancer myself and the ninth job is one of the highest paying jobs in the list. The first one that we have on the list is systems analyst. Now, a systems analyst is also called as a business technical analyst, and he's the person who basically manages and analyzes the entire system of a business. He acts as a link between the technical as well as the business side of the things. Now, let's look at it using an example. Say, for example, I want to start a restaurant chain. Now, I am a person who does not know anything about the hospitality sector, and I want to get in on that. Of course, I don't understand the customer's problems, I cannot uh, know about the softwares that are used in the hospitality sector currently and the best practices or the best systems to build in order to run the business smoothly. So this is the problem that systems analyst solves. He basically designs systems in order to run the business smoothly and automates most of the workflows. The average salary of a systems analyst in India is about 25 lakh rupees per annum and in US it is around $85,000. Now uh, in order to become a systems analyst you need to understand all of the different operating systems, the hardware configurations and so on. The second high paying job on the list is blockchain engineer. Now this is something that if you have subscribed to this channel and are following my videos for a long time you might already know that this is something that I'm pursuing as a freelancer. Now there are two types of blockchain engineers. One is the person who gets in on the core blockchain development side he basically builds blockchain from scratch and the other is a person who works on existing blockchains and develops apps on top of it for example a person like me who develops uh, decentralized applications on top of ethereum on top of binance and all of these different blockchains if you want to become a blockchain developer then you can check out this particular video in which i've given the entire roadmap for it the average salary of a blockchain developer is around 30 to 50 lakhs per annum in India and in the US it is around $180,000. Now of course if you have your own personal brand built uh, behind it then these numbers can go up as well. The third job on the list is product manager. Now a product manager is a professional that recognizes the customer's needs and basically sends it back to the developers in order to make changes. He is the link between the customers and the people who are developing the application or the product. I'll give you a small example for this. So I want to build a student Samaj platform on which I'll be posting different types of courses in order for people to learn about them. Now in this, the users or the customers are the people who will be watching my courses and the product manager's job would be to understand what they want, what are the changes that they require, what are the updates that uh, needs to be done in the courses and take those feedbacks and give it back to the developers. Also, if customers are facing problem with the student Samaj platform, they are facing some glitches then product manager basically sends these uh, recommendations to the developers directly so in India a product manager earns around 25 lakh rupees per annum and in US this figure goes up to an average of hundred thousand dollars next comes the fourth one on the list which is full stack developer now a full stack developer knows both the front end as well as the back end what is front end and back end you ask then front end is basically the thing that that you see on a website, the things that users engage with. All the buttons, all the text, all the things that you currently see are coded by a front-end developer. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, which most probably you are, then uh, the entire YouTube uh, website is being coded by a front-end developer. However, the video itself is on a server hosted somewhere else. And the back-end engineer is the person who connects the front-end, which is the website that you're seeing, with the server and uh, shows off these uh, videos on top of it. Now that you've understood what a front-end developer is, what a back-end developer is, a full-stack developer is a person who knows both of these things. He knows front-end as well as the back-end. If someone wants to develop a website, he does not have to hire a front-end developer separately and a back-end developer separately. He can directly hire a full-stack developer who will know both of these things. 
In India, the average salary of a full stack developer is around 20 lakh rupees per annum and in the US it goes up to $110,000. The fifth high paying job over here is DevOps engineer. Now a DevOps engineer is a person who basically connects the development side of the product and the operation side of it as well. Now let's take Student Samaj platform for example over here as well. Say for example there are some updates to be made and uh, the product manager tells me about those updates and tells me that these are the things that need to be changed on the platform. Now this information will go over to the DevOps engineer whose responsibility would be to do this as soon as possible. He will manage the development side of the team, he will manage the operations side of the team and then give out the final product as soon as possible. The average yearly salary of a DevOps engineer in India is around 15 lakh rupees per annum and in the US it is around hundred thousand dollars. Next up as the sixth high paying job is data scientists. Now data scientists are people who love to work with large amounts of data and as you know data is the new oil. In order to become a data scientist you need to utilize all the skills in the technical field and then find out trends and manage huge amount of data. The average yearly salary of a data scientist in India is around 20 lakh rupees and in the US it is around $120,000. Now the seventh one on the list is cloud architect. Now a cloud architect is responsible for a company's entire cloud strategy. So if you're using any cloud computing softwares or anything of that sort, say for example you're using AWS which is Amazon Web Services, then a cloud architect's job would be to architect the entire service and know which kinds of uh, services are useful for the company. Now say for example Student Summer's platform might use AWS which is Amazon Web Services for its cloud computing needs. In order to manage all of those things and build an architecture around it, a cloud architect is the one to go. The average yearly salary of a cloud architect is around 30 to 40 lakhs per annum in India and in the US it is around $130,000. The eighth one on the list is an IoT solutions architect. An IoT professional is the one who understands the practical uses of the internet and basically builds products around it. They work with engineers as well as salespeople and know the ins and outs of the software development as well as the hardware development part. IoT professionals earn around 10 lakh rupees annually in India whereas in the US it is around $120,000. Now the ninth job on the list is an AI architect. So an artificial intelligence architect which is AI architect does the entire development process by making design choices. In order to become an AI architect you need to understand the information and also the infrastructure in order to run the technology. An AI architect's responsibility is to solve problems using AI frameworks and also AI technologies. In India, the average salary of an AI architect is around 63 lakh rupees annually and in the US it is around $155,000. Now the 10th one on the list is a software architect. Now they basically optimize the development process. In order to understand a software architect better, they basically take out all the best tech stacks uh, in order to be used for the software development processes. The average salary of a software architect is around 45 lakh rupees in India and in the US it is around 132 thousand dollars. Now if you want to know about the top five ways in order to earn money as a student then do check out this particular video.